Chapter 4 of The Mandalorian, I thought was, yeah, it was an alright episode. This episode begins showing a little village and it's getting raided. Mando and Baby Yoda then arrive to the same planet where they were showing scenes from earlier. Uh, he's trying to have a secluded life. He's trying to just go there and, you know, hang out, which is uh, kind of interesting for, for Mando's character. And they finally introduce Gina Carano's character, Akara Dune. She is going to be in a few episodes in this series. Uh, she is a former shock trooper that used to work uh, for the Rebels in the past. So we'll see what she brings to the table. Um, what I kind of felt for her, I thought she did a good job. I thought she did a solid job overall. Uh, but I hope to see more from her in these uh, next few episodes. Mando then finds out that she has been also kind of secluded hanging out in this planet because it's it's a very laid back, you know, chill, you know, type of planet. So a good place to go and relax, take a vacation, retire. After Mando gets his ass beat by Gina Carano's character, he then goes back to his ship to figure out what he wants to do. And he actually runs into the two villagers who got raided earlier in the episode. They want him to come and help. He brings Cara Dune with them and then both of them show up to this uh, village to help from the raiders when they do show up again. Now they bring kind of like a little love interest in for uh, Mando's character. This lady here, one of the ladies of the village. Uh, her and Mando do have a connection. So I, I thought it was interesting to kind of bring a kind of love mix into it for the Mando's character and uh, how Pablo Pascal's been playing his role. And now we get to the juicy bits of the episode. We start actually learning some more of Mando's character. Uh, she does ask, when was the last time you ever took that helmet off? And I thought it was pretty funny and charming. He was like, yesterday. <laughs> Like, I'm sure everybody always asks him like why don't you ever take you know take the helmet off and stuff like that so uh, So it's cool like hey, he still takes the helmet off obviously he still has to like eat and stuff like that But uh, he just he can't show his face in front of everyone So it's very interesting with the Mandalorian code because we know that bounty hunters in the past They some Mandalorians they could take off their helmet whenever in front of people it doesn't matter But this might be like an old tradition. They obviously every time they talk they say this is the way so they might be bound to their old school religion, but I'm interested to see some more in the future. After doing a little bit more research on the previous raid to the village, Mando and Cara Dune realize that they're not just messing with regular, you know, out of city raiders. This is actually a, a mech as well. They have an ATST, and uh, it's it's pretty interesting. I'm curious how the Empire got it on there, why it's there. They didn't explain that in this episode. Maybe they'll touch on it more in the next episode, but very interesting none, to say the least. Once they inform the villagers, like, hey, we're way too in and our, over our heads. This ATST will destroy everybody. They then start the traditional training montage. They start teaching the villagers how to fight, how to shoot, to get prepared for the upcoming raid. Once the day is saved and Mando and Kara dispose, of all the uh, poachers. Interesting part here, Mando actually decides that he wants to leave Baby Yoda uh, there actually, which is kind of interesting because he knew beforehand that the tracker, that the tracker beacons were still gonna be following Yoda. So <laughs> um, I don't know what he was thinking, but I mean, they can follow people anywhere on you know the, the face of the earth so or the universe. So I thought it was interesting. He thought that he could leave Baby Yoda there and, and uh, assassins weren't gonna try to come get him. And that's exactly what happens. Uh, one of the bounty hunters actually get to that planet. They find Baby Yoda. They're this close to sniping him and uh, Baby Yoda saved by Cara Dune's character. And then they realize, hey, I can't leave him here, so we're gonna uh, take him. <laughs> Overall for me, um, it was still a fun episode to watch. Uh, it didn't have too much of nuance or new stuff that we really learned too much in this episode. I uh, kind of came away as a little filler episode as well with them being on the planet and then them kind of just leaving the planet now. Uh, we learned a little bit more of Mando's character, but at the same time, typically, you know, at the beginning of the episode, you went to a planet, at the end of the episode, he left. Now, uh, Kara being with the Mando, I believe that could definitely be interesting now, uh, him bringing somebody on board. so. Her coming on board will definitely be cool, but we'll have to take a look and see. Now I'm throwing it to you guys. Let me know what you thought of chapter four of The Mandalorian. Post down in the comments uh, below. New videos every single day. 
check back at the channel. We got more Mandalorian reviews on all the episodes, more Star Wars stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. So new videos here, subscribe down here, and I'll see you in that next video. Be easy.